Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my March favorites. Basically, the makeup products that I've been using and loving for the month of March that I just wanted to share with you guys. So if you want to see what some of my favorites were, because we have some pretty good stuff, both drugstore and high-end, then just keep watching. So March for me was a pretty chill month. Um, I had a lot of time where I could focus on my YouTube channel, so hopefully you guys appreciated the frequent uploads. I am telling you right now, April for me is going to be much crazier. I'm going to start working full-time hours again. I'm starting a new job. It's going to be crazy. So hopefully I'm able to balance my real life and my YouTube life well. We will see. I'm pretty determined to try and keep the videos consistent, but they definitely aren't going to be like four to five uploads a week. They're just not. I, It's not capable for me. But yeah, I tried a lot of new products in the month of March, like a ton. It was almost hard to balance and to try to use products repeatedly just because I was trying so many new products. So so the fact that these guys stood out amongst all of the products that I've been trying out says a lot about them. So we are going to start off with the foundation. So this is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Mine is in the shade 30 Sand Beige. I have talked about how much I've loved this foundation already on my channel and I did have to add it to this video because it's just phenomenal. This is an affordable foundation. It's around $13. You can get this at Ulta. I just picked this up on a whim and I'm so glad I did because it is so full coverage. This is not a natural foundation by any means. Normally, I really like a natural foundation, but I mean, when I want to be extra bam, I'm here for this foundation. It has such good coverage. It looks so, the finish on the skin is so pretty. It's like not cakey at all. I don't have to set it. I do have more normal to dry skin, so this wears very well without being set, and it just looks generally very pretty on the skin. Now, like I said, it's not natural. Like, you can tell you're wearing makeup on your your skin because your skin cannot look that flawless let's be real here so I've just been loving this foundation it is so good so if you're on the market for a affordable foundation this one is super good this is probably like my favorite affordable foundation that I own and that's saying a lot it's beating out like my Revlon color say Maybelline fit me all of those great drugstore foundation this one definitely puts them on a run for their money because it is so good so been loving that, had to mention that. Also, a concealer I've been loving is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. Ooh, this is so good. Not enough people are talking about this. I mean, people who tried it liked it, but I don't... <sighs> They're not talking, this is so good, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm wearing it right now. It's not full, full coverage concealer status, which is okay with me uh, because it does look very natural on my skin. I am not setting it. I don't really need to set it. Like if you wanna set it for that extra staying power, go for it, but this doesn't need set. It looks really natural and smooth under the eyes, and I've just been loving it. It blends out really nicely. Like, everything I like about concealers, this concealer does it. It doesn't quite reach up to my Too Faced Born This Way, which is my favorite all-time concealer, but this is pretty good, and this is definitely one of the best concealers I've tried from the drugstore, if not the best, because this is definitely better than a number of my high-end concealers. It really, really is. So, uh, if you're looking for a good concealer from the drugstore, Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is beating out some of my more expensive ones. So bronzer, I'm a big cream bronzer proponent. So I've been loving the Milk Makeup Baked Matte Bronzer Stick. So good. I did a whole video testing out a full phase of Milk Makeup because it's a brand that I had never had the opportunity to try before and so I just purchased a bunch of stuff and this was definitely the standout product for me in that video. So I just like how huge it is. I mean... It's quite expensive, but I love this. It blends out like a dream. This is such a good color, and this is going to look so great on so many different skin tones. I really just love the way cream bronzer looks because nothing looks more evenly blended. I feel like ugh, the difference between cream bronzer and matte bron or powder bronzer, I just, there's something so much more natural about this on your skin. It looks more skin-like. It's much more blended and even as long as you get a good quality cream bronzer. I love a good powder bronzer. Powder bronzers are a little bit easier Easier, but this blends so good and it looks so natural on the skin like there's just something about a cream bronzer that just it looks so much more seamless on the skin compared to powder bronzer so I've been loving this in my collection this is definitely my favorite cream bronzer of the moment so good definitely recommend the hype is real last I checked these were sold out 
which is unfortunate because they're so good. Next, I do have a powder bronzer for you though that I have been enjoying. This is the bronzer that I'm wearing right now. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer. Mine is in the shade 200. I am going to purchase the shade 100 as well because I think that one's gonna be like Hula Light because this one, when I do pack it on too much, I'm not too crazy about the look of it on my skin. So I feel like 100 is going to work well for me wanting to be heavy handed. But I mean, this is still a really lovely color. I really like the tone of this. It's like perfectly warm, but also a little bit cool for sculpting. So I don't know, this is just such a good tone of bronzer and it's really smooth and blendable. So that's also really nice. The formula of this is really, really good. It just blends onto the skin with your bronzer brush. I think you guys are really going to like this if you are on the market for a good drugstore bronzer. I have so many drugstore things because I've just tried so many good things from the drugstore lately. So this is reallybomb.com. This I think will work for medium skin tones pretty well. They do have a deeper one for more deep skin tones, and then they have the 100 for more fair skin tones. But I do think the 100 is going to work pretty well for me as well. So I've been really, really enjoying this bronzer. On to eyes. Let me talk about the lid topper. If you watch my full face of drugstore makeup, I was so floored by this product. This is the All May Velvet Foil Cream Shadow in the shade Cupid Glaze. So first of all, this is going to last you for the rest of your life and then some because you get so much product and you only need so little. So when originally I had swatched this on my hand after I had purchased it, I was a little underwhelmed by it. I just didn't think it was going to be that good. And let's be honest here, all my, not the most exciting drugstore brand. Um, so yeah, like this shade really wasn't doing it for me. And then in that video, when I put it on my eyes, it just transformed. My eyes were so pretty pink and glittery, not glittery, but like really shimmery with specks of really small, fine glitters. Like it just was so pretty, such a pretty pink look for the spring. And not only that, but this is industrial quality. This lasts on your eyelids like you won't believe. It did not fade throughout the entire day and there wasn't a single crease. And just given the creases of my eyes, a lot of times, especially cream products, they do crease on me. This, not even a little indication that it was about to crease. Like, this is bulletproof. This is such a good product. I am going to Ulta either today or tomorrow, and I do plan on picking up some more colors of this because it is that good. Like, I'm so surprised Ome came out with such a phenomenal product. I really, really, really love this product. Onto eyeshadows. So the first ones I'm going to talk about are from Busy Arts. I did do a separate review and tutorials using these two. Oh, lovely. So these were sent to me, but nonetheless, these are amazing. It doesn't matter. This one right here is a Pricotine. This is the one that I'm wearing right now. I just did like a really light kind of subtle apricot eye, which is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So this one is great for more of you neutral lovers. These are super tiny, but this is actually a really good way to spend less money to try out the Viseart formula because their palettes can be like up to $80. So this one's really beautiful. It's really great for, I just imagine summer nights wanting a really warm, smoky eye using this palette. Super pretty. Really like this one. I mean, obviously the quality of these is great are great. And this one is Soleil. Oof. So I created one of my favorite looks using this palette ever. I'm like, I cannot get over it. And this palette was just so easy to work with. It made blending the colors together so easily. The color story in here, these shades actually blend very beautifully together. So if you're into color theory, I mean, color theory wise, this is the perfect palette. You're not really going to have any problems. You can create two very different looks, but all of these colors together in one look is very cohesive as well, believe it or not. So yeah, I mean, I just feel like this is a really great way to push yourself to wear color. If you don't own a lot of colored eyeshadows, this is a good way to add some colorful eyeshadows to your collection without completely breaking the bank. Of the two, I mean, this one's my favorite because it is super fun, but of course, in reality, I will probably use this one more, but oof, I've been loving these. These are so great. I am traveling this summer and these are definitely being packed with me. So next up, do, 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 we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. I probably sound like a broken record talking about this because everybody has talked about this palette. I did upload a video. It was a three looks, one palette using this palette and then created some really different looks. That was my goal was to just show you how versatile this palette 
palette is so I did do an all neutral look like a wearable look that you can do with this to wear anywhere believe it or not I did a really pink look and then I also just did a really multi colored look and I loved all three looks that I did especially that last one it's my favorite first of all the quality of this is really really nice the only shade I didn't like was Palermo but other than that the rest of these just work like a dream and I just feel very inspired when I use this palette I feel like there's so many more looks I could create and that I want to create using this palette so I just feel like it looked very intimidating at first but once I actually dug in here I just felt so inspired and just could imagine so many more looks you guys have asked me where this would rank in my rankings of ABH palettes it's not going to be my favorite most used palette it's just not it's too colorful I'm a neutral girl when it comes to like everyday life I actually wear neutrals but I would definitely say that this ranks in like the mid to high range of those rankings just because you know I'm not going to use it a ton I really do like it it's really really good and the quality of it is spot on ABH did a really nice job with that palette I think it's so unique to their line and so unique to anything that's out right now I've also really been into the NYX epic ink eyeliner one of you commented to try it out and I did and it's so good um, I'm obsessed with the Pat McGrath liquid liner but this one is a really good drugstore version I tried to keep a high-end version and then like a more affordable version and just switch up between the two because I don't know there's something satisfying about just wearing a drugstore product to me sometimes just being like mm, this is seven dollars so I've really really been loving this it's very very black um it doesn't budge on me from what I've noticed so far it's not the most matte liquid liner I really do like a super matte black liquid liner but those are really hard to come by and for the drugstore this is actually pretty good drugstore it's like nearly impossible to find a matte black so I think this is the best they got to be honest I really like the applicator it's like a brush kind of very similar to the Kat Von D applicator this is really really good so yeah if you're looking for an affordable liquid liner NYX Epic Ink Liner is a really good option for you to go towards. So this next item, I'm very, very surprised is on here. I never feature mascaras, but this is the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. This came from the Eye Ecstasy kit that I did review, and surprisingly, I really, really love this mascara. So I don't know if it's this mascara or the fact that I've been using New Lash to try and grow my eyelashes out, but whatever it is, the combo of the two uh, has been making my eyelashes look so long. Um, so lately, I haven't been wearing fake eyelashes as often. I've been lazy for some reason. So when I'm going out, I just really don't put on fake eyelashes. And I love fake eyelashes. And surprisingly, this adds so much length and volume to my lashes. Like, every time I put this on, I get surprised by the length that I get. Now, I have, like, no eyelashes, so these don't look impressive to you. But... <laughs> But to me, these are quite impressive for my eyelashes given their start point. So yes, my eyelashes don't look that amazing right now. But you don't understand, I have like no eyelashes. So the fact that this makes my eyelashes look like this, this is a really, really good mascara. <laughs> Alright, so the next item that I have, and the last, this, I've been loving this lipstick. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's ugh, such a beautiful nude, such a beautiful formula. This is the Milk Makeup Lipstick in the shade Skills. These are newer from the range. First of all, the packaging is just like, it's white, but it has milk right here. I don't even know if you can see. It's just, I, I really like this super sleek packaging and the case is magnetic, the cap. So this is the shade. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful nude that so many people are going to love, especially with a lip liner. I do have a lip liner underneath now. And this is just such a creamy formula. I definitely think you do need to wear a lip liner with this because it is so creamy, but it looks so smooth on your lips that makes them almost look a little bit juicy without the gloss. So this isn't the most long wearing lipstick because it is so creamy. Reapplying it is so satisfying. So I've been loving this formula. And this color in particular, I mean, such a good color. So that's all I have for my favorites of March. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I helped you find some cool new stuff to try. These products, I stand by. These are some good quality products. Let me know what some of your favorites for this month were. I want to check them out and maybe they'll be featured in my next monthly favorites. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. Bye guys. Have a great day.